Listen, many of you are dealing with people who expect you to put them first before you put the Lord first. They're expecting you to do for them way before you do something for the Lord. It's about them getting what they asked you for. If you're not willing to participate in these ungodly things and the things that they want you to do, <laughs> they, they, they're ready to shut you down. They're ready to leave you alone. They have no more use for you. So most of you guys are dealing with people who only have use for you simply because of what they want from you. Something that they can ask for and receive. It's all about them. You have to understand we're dealing in the times of where people are literally about them. Okay, it's nothing about who or how they can help you, who they can bring into your life to bless your life. They're trying to see how they can benefit off of you. That's what most people are doing these days. But, you know, like I said, it's always some that are there to help and bless you. But with your chosen, you have people, you're going to have people around you that's going to want to deal with you only because they can get something out of you they want something from you if they can get peace from you they will do that if they can get happiness from you they will do that money cars a ride to work whatever if they can deal with you in such manner and get what they are getting to just wanting to getting opportunities off of you that's the only reason they're dealing with you you have to understand that god don't like that god don't like that see I was reading in, I was actually reading the verse of the day. Let's talk about it. It says, and the young Macedonian believers did not do as we expected. This is what Paul is saying. He didn't, they didn't do what we expected. We expected them to not to do for us or do for other people than to follow the ways of the Lord. It says, but they gave themselves first to the Lord, then to us in keeping with the, with God's will. That's 2 Corinthians 8 and 5. Listen, guys, Paul was shocked <laughs> that they actually decided to work in the ways of the Lord. And that's what your enemies are so, they're confused. Because they felt like you were going to just jump through hoops and hurdles from them. Some of y'all, these are lovers. This is your lover who thought you would just do anything for them before you consulted with God. Some of you guys, these are people that you deal with on an everyday basis or somebody that likes to reach out to you and ask you for things. They thought that you would not ask the Lord, is this what you would want me to do? <laughs> they thought you was just going to jump and do it real quick because you usually do that. Some of you guys are dealing with people who are used to people jumping through hurdles. Baby, you done told this person a piece of your mind by telling them no. Or by telling them, let me let me pray about it first. It's crazy because once you say, I pray about it first, baby, they like, what? I mean, what you mean? I know they going to do it. No, nah, baby, not every time. Because sometimes God will tell you, no, don't do it. Don't even, t don't even let them even be around you. Don't even let them come to you like that ever again. You got to set them in your play, in their place. <laughs> they thought you were just going to be a fool, like boo boo the foo foo. Okay. They, that's what they thought, but that's not what you did. And a lot of people are shocked because you didn't do what they thought you were going to do. They thought you were going to show up somewhere where they invited you to so that they could poison the way that you look. You know, they were trying to ruin your reputation, ruin what, what you look like. Yeah. When they come, you're going to see it all over their face that they, that is something going on with them. I'm telling y'all, when you see them, watch when they show up. They going to act the fool. You don't show up. They ain't got nothing to see. They don't have nothing to see. <laughs> That's crazy, right? I know. But there are certain people who realize that you're either going to show up or not show up. Some of you guys, these are people that realize that thought that you were going to show up at an event or show up in, your, in their lives for them. Thinking that you would actually turn your life over to them that you would do what they wanted you to do but you decided to ask god and consult with god first see when you changed your mind to change your life god knew you was going to change your life but these people did not know they had a plan they had a plan that if you actually come and do what they're asking you to do that they was going to actually scheme 
in the things that they were doing. That they were setting up plots and plans for you to fail. Setting up plots for you to get yourself in a hole that you could not get out of. But but God, you already know, but God. See, when God speaks to you, you understand that you don't have to jump hoops and hurdles for other people. You consult with God. You ask God what's going on. Should I even allow this person in my energy? Should I even allow them to borrow this amount of money? Should I even help them? They thought you wouldn't have done that. They just knew for a fact that you was going to come through for them. And they got another thing coming. Now let's talk about it. You have now entered a season where you have this individual who is trying to use you for what you have. They're using you for the anointing that you have. That they could get accolades off of what you do. They're using your name. They're trying to use your name to gain clout. Y'all already know about it. When they mention you, something happens. When they mention you, people begin to talk about it. You know, it's just like to get the views. It's just like people getting views off of other people's names. And that's what I'm getting here. You're dealing with someone who has been trying to gain clout off of you. But since you decided to follow the Lord and not go in the ways of what they were thinking that you would do, <laughs> they feel real dumb right now. They not even feeling like themselves. Like, dang, what did I do wrong? What did what what just happened? I thought they were always for me. No, baby. Once you once we as the chosen ones realize that a person is only using us to benefit off of us, we already know what's going on. We know what's going down. We know what these people are up to. See, you recognize game because you know game recognize game. We already know the game you can't play the game with the person that's connected to the one that made the game do you hear me see god himself made the game so they can't fool you see god gives you these visions he gives you these signs and these thoughts to let you know that anyone that is around you his who is very corrupt who don't follow in his ways are and are using you for a certain benefit we know that he's going to show us. He's going to reveal to us the things that people do against us. And he's going to reveal the things that people do for us that, were, that are for our greater good. And they didn't even realize that God was speaking straight to you. That you were directly connected to the Most High God because you are chosen. You are a chosen vessel. He didn't choose you for nothing. He knew that you would follow in his ways. And that's what it was in this verse second corinthians 8 and 2 they didn't realize that these macedonian believers were actually connected to the true god they were connected so connected that they would not change their minds just because someone else came to them and asked them to do something differently see when you begin to move in your life when you begin to listen to the voice of the lord it changes everything because now you're not listening to those naysayers. You're not listening to those who did not believe that you would connect with the Most High God when it comes to this situation. <laughs> when you connect to him, you already know that everything is all Gucci. It's all good. You ain't got nothing to worry about, but they didn't know that. They don't understand it. They're literally in a state of confusion. Most of you guys know these people to be those that tend to gossip and talk about other people when they are not around they're the type of people who will get into everybody else's business instead of taking care of their own business they won't consult with the most high for themselves but they'll try to connect to people who are because they're not willing and able to make the sacrifice to get to know the most high god they're not willing to do that these are people that you have to realize that they were never meant to be in your life even if they were meant to be there, it was only for a lesson for you to learn that everybody can't be trusted. See, God will even put you around people that you can't be trusted just to let you know and see that. No, this is the type of person I'm telling you not to trust. This is a lesson well learned. Many of you guys have learned so many lessons from 
meeting people like this from being around or even growing up in a family household around people like this. You have learned so much and he's teaching you. He's only giving you these lessons to help you in the long run. But I could, because I'm telling you, your latter days shall be greater than your former days. See, your former days, you had to learn from these lessons. Your former days, you may have fallen for the things that these people have done or that this person was trying to do. But your latter days, your latter days, baby. Do you hear me? They're much better. You're going to see the growth that God has done in you. The reason why you had to go through what you went through. Many of you, like I said yesterday, you have went through so much. You have went through hell and high water, but it was only to teach you not to trust those backbiters, those that did not like you, those that didn't even like your children. Do you hear me? They used you for nothing. They used you for things that only they could benefit off of. You have learned the lesson. See, these people knew that you were very generous in your life, that you would give the very shirt off of your back, that you would do anything for certain people. You would do it for people because you felt like it was something that you were doing for the Lord. They knew this. They knew that you was about that real Christian life, that you was about that God given life. You was all about it, but they did not, they underestimated you because they didn't realize that when you speak with God, he lets you know, now that ain't the one you need to be doing. That ain't the one you need to be helping out because I'm telling you, he will let you know, these are the type of people that will try to get benefits off of what you do. They will try to benefit off of your life, of off of your your calling they will try to benefit off of your calling so that they can get higher than you i'm telling y'all people love to see you doing good unless you're doing better than them there's a lot of people out there like that not everybody i love to say that like look not everybody but those that do they love to see you doing good but not better than them. And they didn't understand that you had this connection with the God that you serve, that the most high God was really guiding you in the truth of everything that you're realizing that you can see better than they can, that the veil has been removed, that you don't have to look through rose colored glasses anymore. You can see the truth. When God showed you the truth, you don't have to keep doing what you used to do. See before you didn't see everything clearly. You were just doing things because you felt like it was right because it was godly. But some people, like I said, these individuals are the type of people you cannot extend a hand to because they have hidden motives. They were always after getting things from other people. They were always wanting something to help them and nobody else. It was all about their selves. But understand and hear me when I say this, the most high God is coming through for you. He's making sure that he brings his blessings forth when these people are not around you, when they're not in your missed so that you can enjoy the fruits of your labor instead of them actually enjoying the fruits of your labor this is for you this season and this time is now is for you it's not for them and god ain't gonna let them get it because he gets all the glory when he gives it to you when he gives it to them, they don't thank nobody but themselves. They try to put themselves on a high pedestal. They'll put themselves on the throne before they do for you. You'll be the main one that done helped them get through it. And they won't even thank you for it. They won't even thank the most high God. So understand that God is moving things because he knows that you are actually loyal. That you are true to the game. That they can't trick you in a game that he's created. That he's the one. That's going to make sure that you win in this season. Type in the comments, I'm winning. I'm winning. That's right. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys for all of the subscribes, the YouTube uh, likes, the comments. And thank you for giving to the channel. And if you are a loving giver, go ahead and go over to Cash Up Dollar Sign Diva TV. And also, you can do right here in Super Thanks on YouTube. You don't have to leave the app. You don't even have to leave the app. Just do it in Super Thanks and give right there. I love you guys. Peace and blessings. Mm -hmm.